is going on people inside the internet machine welcome to episode 37 let's go game hunting Damn, guys, that was some really good game chasing. All right, we'll just get to the pickups because that's what you guys are here for, and that's what I love to do. Um, if you guys have followed my channel for any uh, length of time, you will notice that the Xbox is no longer up here, and the Dreamcast is no longer right there. If you want to find out what happened to those two consoles, stick around after the new subscriber shoutouts, and I will show you what happened to those consoles. All right. So let's get into the pickups. A friend of mine uh, lives down south, uh, south of me. Not like down south, like he lives like right down there. Uh, <laughs> lives in the southern part of the city. Goes to pawn shops and thrift stores and whatnot. Um, and he usually calls me when he finds some stuff. So uh, he picked this up for me, got it at cost. So $4. A Platinum GameCube controller. Very nice condition. I don't have to say it, but I'm going to say it. You can never have too many controllers. The next thing he picked up, so I gave him his four bucks for that. The next thing he picked up for fifteen dollars, uh, we haven't haven't really worked out a dollar amount or a trade amount for this item, but uh, very nice condition. Nintendo DS Lite Silver. The screen is very good on it. I don't know if that's coming through, but uh, yeah, it comes with the uh, the old stylus there, and then the uh, Game Boy cover. But yeah, came with a charger. Like I said, he paid 15 bucks for that, and uh, we really haven't decided, you know, what I'm going to trade for it or what I'm going to give him in cash for it. He did pick up one other item um, that he just kind of threw my way. When I saw it, I immediately recognized it as uh, a fake, a Fugazi Pokemon Ruby version for the uh, Game Boy Advance. Um, saw it there in the video. We were at VGMX. They had a Sega Nomad for 100 bucks, and then a very cool Pokemon Edition Game Boy Advance. Uh, I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks in their case. They had a copy of Super Metroid that they wanted 65 bucks for, which was a little bit more than I want to pay uh, for Super Metroid. They did have one game that uh, I was interested in. It was $12.99. I got $5 off, so I got it for like 8 bucks. So shoot them up for the Super Nintendo Earth Defense Force. Now, this is a very mediocre shooter i would say um it's not bad but uh it's certainly not the quality of like uh like an r-type or un squadron or something like that uh you know darius twin uh okay so after we went to a vgmx we hit up a thrift store three dollars and 93 cents picked up armored core five 
for the Xbox 360. That one is complete. Um, you know, I'm going to just throw that up on Craigslist for 10 bucks and try and double my money on it real quick. Next game. <laughs> so we go to that thrift store. You guys saw in the video there. We go to that thrift store. And uh, I go in there every week. And the, the lady that runs register, she always works there on uh, Mondays when I go there. And <laughs> she goes, oh, I just put some... I just put some games over there, and nobody's ever, nobody's touched them yet or whatever. So I immediately make like a beeline over there. I see some Nintendo games, so I sort of get excited. They're eight ninety nine a piece for like sports games, and I was like, oh, ay, 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 ay. And then it got a little bit worse with the twenty six hundred games were also like nine dollars. Did find one game there though uh, for six bucks. Picked up Ratchet and Clank Collection for the PlayStation Three. I don't know if that came with a manual or not. This one only has the uh, demo pamphlet. So, but yeah, it's a pretty cool collection. If I had a PlayStation 3, I'd probably hold on to this uh, because it's got Ratchet and Clank and then Ratchet and Clank Going Commando and Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. So you can have all three of those games in, in one game. So uh, I was perusing around on OfferUp, which is a uh, an app that you know people sell stuff on, kind of like a, like a Craigslist. But a uh, guy had a copy of New Super Mario Brothers Wii for $5, just loose disc, which was cool uh, for me because I actually have an extra case and manual. So I was just going to throw that disc in that case and then, uh, you know, resell it because this game still goes for 20 25 bucks. But uh, when I showed up, I gave him the 5 bucks. He went over to the table, grabbed, grabbed it off the table, and uh, he actually came with a case. And the manual. So, yeah, complete copy of New Super Mario Brothers Wii uh, for twenty five or for five bucks, and I'll probably sell for twenty or twenty five bucks. So that was decent investment. All right, so uh, go to go to this pawn shop. I've gone there before. Um, they have like a ton of games, but they want too much for them. You know what I mean? Like like common Wii games or, or Xbox games and stuff. You know, everything in there, they're 10 bucks or they're 15 bucks. All their like new stuff like Xbox One and PlayStation 4 games, all they're all they're all just 20 bucks, regardless of what the game is. But uh, in dealing with these people from the past, in the past, um, I knew that if you kind of buy more and you kind of ask for a discount, um, they'll either say yes or kind of negotiate a little bit. So I'm looking through their PSP games because I really want to get on the, the PSP bandwagon. I hope it's not too late. Uh, I've got a, a PSP in a couple episodes back. And uh, really kind of Jones in to get some games for it. I'm still on the lookout for the uh, Mega Man games. Um, so hopefully we'll get those. But yeah, anyway, so I'm looking through his cabinet. I'm kind of looking them up on my phone and stuff. And I asked the guy, I said, how much are these uh, PlayStation Portable games? And he goes, they're all 10 bucks a piece, which is what I expected to hear. I said, okay, well, can I check some of these out? So he comes over and he unlocks the case. And I start grabbing some games out of there. And I'm making sure that the games are in there and that they're complete. So I hold up five games and I say, uh, would you do five bucks a piece? I'll buy all of them, um, you know, because I'm not paying ten dollars. So he goes, uh, well, I could do eight. And I said, well, how about six? Six, I'll buy. I'll just buy all five cash. I'm out of your hair. And he goes, well, the lowest I could really do is seven. So he settled on seven, which in hindsight isn't a bad price. Um, I think sometimes we get caught up in finding awesome deals at Goodwill and, you know, buying games for a dollar at garage sales. The one we have to actually pay a little bit more for games. Um, <laughs> we like to bitch and piss and moan and gripe and complain about it. And then segments start to ramble on and on and on like this segment is doing right now. So I'll just show you the games. All right. First game that we picked up, seven bucks. Uh, Monster Hunter Freedom for the PSP. That one is complete. But there's like some kind of dust or dirt or something on there that will clean off. But yeah, so Monster Hunter Freedom. Don't really know anything about it, but looked cool. Uh, the next game, Monster Hunter Freedom 2. So after I'm done never playing that game, I can never play this. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Monster Hunter Freedom 2. That one is complete, and these are all in like really nice shape. All right, next game here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep th these next two or flip them. Um, chances are I'll probably just keep them because I don't have that many PSP games. Final Fantasy 2 for the old PlayStation Portable. 
That one is also complete. The next game is Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Try to pull that in there. There's the, uh, the menu on everything. Now, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys that are more uh, Final Fantasy savvy. Is this a remake of Final Fantasy VII? Or is it like a new game or something? I don't know. All right, the last game there, the reason why I, I really wanted uh, to deal with them and try and get them down in price and buy these PSP games. Um, this would be a game, if I had a list of PlayStation Portable games that I wanted, this would be on the short list. Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles, which is badass. That one is complete. I love the artwork in the back. Let's check that out. I don't know if that's a reverse, meant to be reversible cover art or what but uh yeah this game is pretty pretty awesome it's got uh castlevania rondo of blood and looks like castlevania symphony of the night on it which is awesome so as soon as i'm done with my semester um that game will be played so definitely excited to add those for into my playstation portable collection my very young playstation portable collection all right, so now the holidays are over, Christmas, New Year's, all that stuff. Kids are back in school. Uh, one of the things that I, I love getting for Christmas are gift cards. I mean, I know what I want, so you might as well just give me the gift card and let me buy my own stuff. Um, I love gift cards. I do not in any way, shape, or form think that uh, you're kind of skimping out or it's thoughtless. Um, but my mom got me a gift card for Amazon, and uh, this has been a, a game that's been on my list for a very, very long time. I think Water Music Retro picked it up. And actually, Nick Barry across the pond in merry old England imported a North American Wii and got this game as, because it's like a North American exclusive. Uh, Castle Shikigami 3 for the Nintendo Wii. That one is complete, very nice condition. This game is starting to go for upwards of 25, 30 bucks. Um, I got a, a hell of a deal on this. Uh, seller had it posted for $14.40 and I emailed him and I said hey does that come with the case and manual he emailed me back like right away and he said yeah it does so I went ahead and clicked the old buy now button so for $14.40 and then you know two or three bucks shipping whatever it is uh, Castle Shikigami 3 for the Nintendo Wii you guys know I'm a huge fan of this series because I did a let's play of Castle Shikigami 2 and Mobile Light Force 2 in my let's play section so definitely going to play that game kind of interesting though on the back it's got the the wii mote and then you know like the wii pro controller or whatever the wii classic controller but uh you can also use the gamecube controller for that game so you know you only like to play wii games with gamecube controllers that's your bugaboo or for whatever all right so this uh next item this last item of this segment that i got um i actually won rpg tour guides 400 subscriber contest so man Thank you so much. Won a $30 gift card um, to pretty much anywhere I wanted. So I had uh, RPG Tour Guide send me a, a gift card for eBay. So like I said, a $30 gift card. That money was already spent before he sent it to me uh, because I knew exactly what I wanted to get with it. Stubbs the Zombie for the original Xbox. Very excited to, uh, to play this game. Again, as soon as my semester is over, this is one of those games that I'm going to play immediately. That was uh, complete with the manual. There's the back there. Looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, you just play as a zombie and run around and bite people and stuff. So, guys, that is going to do it for this segment. Uh, we're going to run out and see if we can find any more good games. We're off to a really great start this week, so uh, sit tight.
what is up guys we're back um let's get to it first thing i'm gonna show you i got it off of uh ebay i think ebay or amazon uh, i had some leftover gift card money so uh picked up the old hd to psp wire so you can play psp games on your television which is pretty awesome um i'm really starting to get into this psp business as you will see uh, in the in the uh in the pickups here all right so the friend of mine i was telling you about he uh, hit up a cash land advance and picked up a couple games for me, gave them to me for free. First one is uh, Sim City for the Super Nintendo. Definitely a, a classic game there. And then this is actually my first Comerica cartridge. This is the Quattro 4-in-1 Adventure. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got one of those like dips, dip switches on the back. Um, it says $5 on there, but uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't pay $5. I'm sure he went in there and was like, hey, how much are these games? And they were like 5 bucks. And then he was probably like, well, they've been sitting here for like six months. How about two bucks a piece? And they probably just sold it to him. <laughs> yeah, that's how he works. But, uh, all right, so he's been picking up a lot of DSs from there lately. Um, I got a silver one kind of earlier. And then uh, he picked up a white one for himself. And then he picked up this one. He didn't know if I wanted it. Uh, it's a, a metallic pink Nintendo DS. Works really well. It's got the uh, Game Boy Advance cover there. It's got the stylus. Came with a charger, and then uh, I think he got that for 15 or 20 bucks, and then he picked up a copy of Zelda, Link to the Past, Four Swords Adventure. I think they charged him eight bucks for that, and uh, yeah, he asked me if I wanted I said, no, I'm not really interested. He said, well, just take it, put it online or whatever, try and, try and get some cash out of it, and then, you know, we'll divvy up the profits or something. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get some money out of that. If anybody's interested in that little lot, you know, and I still have it, Definitely make me an offer. All right, so uh, so he had some PSP games, and uh, he asked them how much they were or whatever, and he basically got them for like two bucks a piece, so he sold them to me at cost. So uh, got these for two bucks a piece. SOCOM Tactical Strike. That one is complete. SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs Fire Team Bravo. Complete. Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. Complete. Siphon Filter Logan Shadow. I believe this was the 2007 PSP Game of the Year, if I'm not mistaken. That one is complete. I love these Siphon Filter games. They're really good on the PlayStation 2. Um, the first three for the PlayStation are okay. The first one's really all you need. But on the PlayStation 2, buy them all. Maybe except for Omega Strain. So like, yeah, like Logan Shadow and that stuff buy all that stuff for ps2 all right the last two games here uh the most exciting games of the lot first one is ghostbusters the video game complete definitely want to try that out i love the ghostbusters the last one here the cream of the crop the warriors now i think that this game is pretty much valuable on any system that it's on playstation 2 original xbox whatever that one nicely is complete. It's in really nice. The UMD is in really nice condition. The manual's not bad. So definitely excited to have that. Um, that's one I'll probably hold on to. Uh, all right. So then uh, the last thing he got. So I got those at cost, like I said, two bucks a piece. Um, they had a PSP 3000 model in there. And, uh, you know, they went in, he went in there and they wanted like $59.99 or for it or whatever it was. 60 bucks, 70 bucks, whatever. And he goes, uh, how much do you want for the PSP? And they were like, well, we could, the lowest we could do is like 48 bucks. So he goes, okay, yeah, thanks anyway. So he left. And then he went, he did, he did the move where like, I don't need your crap and just left. Well, he went back the next day and he was like, well, I was in here yesterday and you said the lowest you could do on uh, uh, this PSP was 48 bucks. Well, really, what's the best you could do? And he basically talked him down another eight bucks. So for 40 bucks, a PSP 3000 model. Um, this one's like fully kitted out. Comes with the uh, the wall charger, the uh, mem the memory cards in there. There's like an eight gigabyte memory card in there. And then on the inside, there was a copy of Little Big Planet. So get a free game out of it. How about that? Put that bad boy back in there. So yeah, so he paid 40 for it. So he ended up uh, just doing a, a trade, kind of like a down and dirty trade. I gave him like 20 
five bucks, I think, and then a copy of Mario Kart, and then a copy of uh, uh, Sonic and Mario at the Winter Olympics for his DS, so he's trying to build up his DS collection. So we, we traded that, got that PSP. I actually couldn't be happier. I think uh, I'm going to give my son the other PSP, the model, the model Deuce. So, all right. So you guys saw there, hit up the thrift store. They had some consoles. They had a, a PlayStation 1, a dirty Xbox, and an NES. Hindsight, I probably should have picked up that NES, but it was only 13 bucks. It was in rough condition. Didn't come with a controller or a power cord, anything like that. I looked through the cords, and uh, all I could come up with was a uh, AV cable for $1.99 for the old Super Nintendo GameCube or N64, whatever your pleasure is. Um, yeah, I left the Sega Genesis Model 2 adapter. Uh, power adapter it wasn't in the best of shape and it's not something i need so he hit up a cash land advance so i went to cash land advance picked up two psp games they were three dollars a piece this one is a pata patapon never heard of that one it's complete and there's the back not really sure what that one is all about and the uh the best find there was uh god's eater burst i don't know weird name but, uh, yeah, that one was also complete. It's a little dirty, but uh, this game goes for, like, 20 23 bucks. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that or just sell it and try and make some money back uh, that I spent yesterday. All right, so the last three games, I got these at Thrift. Um, yeah, I, again, more games I don't know what I'm going to do with. Uh, first one here for $7. Tomb Raider Anniversary for the Nintendo Wii. Complete. Very nice condition. Um uh, I will probably play this a little bit, but I did not see this in COE 33's uh, Tomb Raider Shrine. So, buddy, that one's on the table if you want it. And uh, I didn't see this one either. Resident Evil Archives for the Nintendo Wii. Seven bucks on that one as well. That one is complete. Again, these two are in very nice condition. I think it was uh, somebody, like somebody's Wii collection or whatever, somebody small. Wii collection where it had these games and then of course you got the Wii Sports and the Wii Fit and the two Guitar Hero games and the you know the Disney game or whatever but uh yeah for some reason <laughs> I've been looking for this game for a while because it's one of the few games that I would probably actually play um unfortunately this one is factory sealed so I think I'm just going to sell it off factory sealed and then maybe buy a loose copy or maybe hope to find another loose copy they charged me a little bit more, $9.99. Sin and Punishment, Star Successor for the Wii. And again, that one is, is still factory seal. That's probably not going to show up. But guys, that is going to do it for the pickups for this week. Tons of PSP stuff. I'm really getting into the PSP stuff, like I said. So if any of you guys have any game recommendations, anything like that, feel free to throw it in the comments section down below. I like shoot 'em ups that type of stuff. Uh, the Castlevania game's really good. Castlevania game's really good. Um, all right, so we're going to hit up our new subscriber shout-out. And if you guys remember, if you stick around, you'll find out what happened to the Xbox and the Dreamcast. So stick around until after the new subscriber shout-out portion. All right, guys. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> all right, enough, enough tomfoolery out of you guys. All right, here we go. First set of subscribers do not post videos on their YouTube channel, but thank you guys so much for uh, buying into this nonsense, and I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments section below. So, Dark Fox 64, Sean Racine, Maddie Drummond, Fatal Return, and Zach Rom 2013. Guys, thank you so much for uh, your support. Last set of subscribers here, guys, they have YouTube channels. They post videos. I'll say their name. I'll tell you what they post. Links will be in the old description down below. Uh, so the first one, the Canadian sensation, the Maple Leaf Mac Daddy himself, Roaming Dan. Thanks for subscribing, buddy. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Roaming Dan's channel, uh, like I said, first of all, link will be in the description, but he just sent Corey Zamier like a huge box of PlayStation and uh, Nintendo games and stuff like that. Um, so Roaming Dan does like pickups, so definitely check out that channel. Vintage Space Ray, uh, really cool Amiibo collection. I don't do Amiibos because I know that if I started doing the Amiibos, I wouldn't stop until I had all of the Amiibos, and that would be expensive and I don't have the space. So I'll just watch other people get the Amiibos. 
Uh, Jojo Rubino does uh, pickup videos as Minecraft and kind of like other like random video game and life videos, things like that. Uh, Megan Daydreams. Uh, Megan only has like four or five uh, videos. They're kind of from, I think, like her dorm room. And they're just kind of like a personal life, almost like a vlog type thing. So thanks for subscribing. Uh, Brony Paul, again, random type of life videos. And uh, this one I'm going to butcher. So, dude, I'm sorry. Wes at ASU. I hope that's Wes, Wes at ASU. Uh, if you're into paintball, paintball guns, stuff like that, definitely check out his channel. Um, he's got all the stuff you need for that. Return to Mother Base. Does pickups, collection videos, games I finished, other random stuff. Uh, Pocket Rocket Radio pickups. Uh, Let's Plays. And then, again, more like other random like video game stuff and kind of life stuff. Uh, Brandon Moulton. Um, he's got like four videos. One's on how to get like free apps. Uh, so if you're into like apps. And then uh, he's like swinging on a rope out into a river which is or a lake, which is interesting i guess because we used to you know have this little home by the river and go there during the summer and we didn't have a rope we jump off the back of the, the boat or whatever all right moving right along uh people backyard farm um again random videos this is a very interesting social experiment that i think is going very well uh, they're in their about section it's like what do you do when you take a city girl and you mix them with a country boy so they're all like living on the farm and having a good old time Titanic Man 28, again, more random life videos, things like that. Just a lot of, like, variety. Um, the last uh, last subscriber here, definitely appreciate it. Um, I actually sent this guy a uh, extra cover art for Mario Baseball for the GameCube. Uh, Dino988 has pickup videos, collection videos, and then, you know, if, like, if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh, he's got some, like, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff going on over there. So definitely check out that channel. Guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around uh, till the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment down below. But right now, as I promised, I'm going to give you guys some exclusive access and allow you to see the magic that is my game room. It's magic. All right, so that's the uh, the old TV that I play my, my games on. You got uh, the Super Mario Bros. Wii in there. And as we peruse over, I just bought that shelf a couple days ago at Goodwill for $10. So it's a pretty good steal there. Uh, I like that you can access the back of it without having to pull it away from the wall. That's why I bought it. But uh, you can see there we get the old Nintendo Wii, the SNES 64, GameCube, original Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation 2 Fat, Sega Genesis Model 2, Sega Dreamcast, and then on the bottom there, kind of tough to see, the uh, Sega Genesis Model 1 with my broken Sega CD, and if I ever get a Sega Saturn, it's going to go right there. Got a spot reserved, so. Alright guys, that is how I stack up my consoles, so see you next time.